certainly a reunion of the 
No. He said, uh, because I don't want to give anything away, but I will tell you one thing. I break the game down in sections. A third, a third, a third. And you've got to get guys to really, really work at the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. He says, the rest I'll keep to myself because one day it's going to come in handy. So, it came in handy many days for Tony La Russa. And Tony, that year, in spring training, watching the talent at the ball club, did you have an inkling it was going to be special? Uh, well, I'm not going to be funny because this is too, too serious, but in spring training, I had to speak to the team and, and I asked Jerry Kuzman, to said, Jerry, suggest a strategy. He says, just tell him to get so far ahead that I can't mess it up. <laughs> No, if, if you remember, a lot of these guys don't pay attention to it because all they're thinking about is their own little part of the thing. But as a coach, as a fan, we look at the whole team. And in uh, 81, we got better. 82, we were 14 over. So by the time we got to 83, we thought, I'm talking about the people that paid attention and cared. <laughs> uh, all of you, Roland. We thought that we had a shot. And I remember that opening day, some of you remember this, opening day, I played Greg Walker in first base against a tough right-hander, and he made two errors, and we lost. And a lot of you called in and started saying, you're going to be fired on opening day. <laughs> and we got swept by, uh, by Texas, and our answer was to have a team party. And that club, I, had, I called a few, but Bull and Coos, taught me the rest of my career the importance of, of having veteran, great leadership, and the young guys, all the young guys would pay attention, respect. And for anybody that says chemistry is not important, chemistry is like getting a superstar to your team. And that team started together, even when we were struggling, and it just got better and better.